In a world where uncertainties loom and the unexpected becomes the new norm, preparedness has never been more crucial. This statement rings true as we delve into the realm of SHTF scenarios, a term coined by the prepper community, standing for stuff hits the fan. This phrase paints a vivid picture of situations where normal life is disrupted, often dramatically, and survival hinges on one's ability to adapt and overcome. SHTF scenarios are not your everyday emergencies. These are situations that push us beyond our comfort zones, thrusting us into unfamiliar territories where the rules of the game can change in an instant. They can be as localized as a devastating natural disaster that wipes out your city's infrastructure, or as global as a worldwide economic collapse. But no matter the scale, the common thread that ties these scenarios together is their potential to disrupt our lives in profound and often unpredictable ways. These scenarios demand a different set of preparations compared to more common emergencies. While a power outage might require a few candles and a warm blanket, a massive earthquake or a societal breakdown necessitates a much more comprehensive approach. From securing a safe shelter and a reliable source of food and water, to ensuring one's personal security and navigating through potential hazards, the list goes on. In essence, preparing for SHTF scenarios is about expecting the unexpected. It's about equipping ourselves with the knowledge, the skills, and the resources to navigate through a world turned upside down. It's about cultivating resilience in the face of adversity and maintaining a steadfast spirit amidst the chaos. Understanding SHTF scenarios is the first step towards preparedness. It's about acknowledging the potential threats that lurk around the corner and making the conscious decision to take action. It's about stepping up to the plate and taking the reins of our own survival. Because when the going gets tough, the prepared get going. So let's embark on this journey together and take a closer look at what it really means to prepare for SHTF scenarios. Every day, a range of potential SHTF scenarios threaten to disrupt our lives. While we cannot predict the future, we can identify the looming threats that could potentially turn our world upside down. Let's delve into the myriad of potential SHTF scenarios that may be lurking around the corner. Firstly, natural disasters. These are the wild cards of Mother Nature, unpredictable and often devastating. Hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis, wildfires, and even volcanic eruptions can strike with little to no warning, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. These events can disrupt essential services, destroy homes, and even claim lives. Next, societal breakdowns. These are situations where the structures that hold our society together start to crumble. This could be due to civil unrest, political instability, or even a pandemic. In these scenarios, the usual systems of law and order may no longer function as expected, leading to chaos and uncertainty. Economic crises constitute another category of potential threats. The global economy is a complex web of interdependencies, and a significant disruption in one area can ripple across the world. This could result in job losses, inflation, or a complete collapse of the economic system, leading to widespread poverty and instability. Other catastrophic events such as nuclear accidents or biohazard incidents, although less likely, are still threats we need to consider. These events have the potential to cause widespread damage and long-term health effects. The list is extensive and it could be easy to feel overwhelmed. However, it's important to remember that the goal isn't to live in constant fear, but to be aware of the potential dangers that exist. This awareness allows us to prepare to adapt and to be resilient in the face of adversity. By understanding the different types of threats, we can tailor our preparations accordingly. We can create plans, gather resources, and acquire skills that will help us navigate these potential scenarios. Identifying these threats is key to ensuring we are ready when they strike. Remember, forewarned is forearmed. Let's continue this journey of preparedness together, equipping ourselves with the knowledge and tools to face whatever may come our way. Preparation is not a one-size-fits-all strategy. Different scenarios require different strategies. Let's dive into how we can tailor our preparations to each unique situation. In the face of natural disasters, such as earthquakes or hurricanes, our focus should be on immediate survival. This means having a solid emergency evacuation plan in place. Know your local evacuation routes, safe zones, and have a prearranged meeting point for your family. Shelter is another key consideration. Whether it's reinforcing your home to withstand harsh conditions or investing in a sturdy tent for outdoor survival, make sure you're not left exposed to the elements. And of course, the basics of survival, water, food, medicine, and clothing should always be part of your emergency supplies. 
On the other hand, in an economic crisis, the game changes. Financial preparedness becomes crucial. This means having savings that can tide you over, investing in tangible assets like gold or land, and considering alternative income sources. In a world where money as we know it might become useless, bartering skills and items of value could be your ticket to survival. And what about societal breakdowns? These situations are far from pleasant to imagine, but they're not beyond the realm of possibility. In such cases, self-defense strategies become paramount. This could range from learning martial arts to knowing how to use a firearm responsibly and effectively. But remember, it's not just about defending yourself. Building a strong, supportive community and establishing effective communication plans can be just as important. In times of chaos, strength in numbers and unity can be your best defense. But let's not forget the more mundane yet equally disastrous scenarios, like prolonged power outages or supply chain disruptions. In these cases, having a stockpile of non-perishable food, a reliable source of heat, and basic tools to repair your home or vehicle can make a world of difference. Each scenario presents its own set of challenges and demands unique solutions. But the common thread weaving through them all is the need for foresight, planning, and action. It's about anticipating potential threats and taking proactive steps to mitigate their impact. It's about not just surviving but thriving in the face of adversity. So, as we navigate these uncertain times, let's remember that our best weapon is our preparedness. It's our ability to adapt, to think on our feet, and to make the best out of whatever situation we find ourselves in. By tailoring our preparations to each scenario, we can increase our chances of survival. After all, in the game of survival, the odds are always in favor of the well-prepared. So let's arm ourselves with knowledge, equip ourselves with the right tools, and stand ready to face whatever comes our way. It's not about fearing the future, but about embracing the power that comes from being ready for anything. A well-rounded emergency kit is a vital tool in navigating any SHTF scenario. Think of it like the Swiss Army knife of survival, packed with different tools to help you overcome a multitude of potential challenges. What makes a comprehensive SHTF kit different from your average emergency kit is that it's tailored to meet the demands of a wide range of scenarios, from natural disasters to societal breakdowns and even economic crises. Now let's talk about some critical components of a comprehensive SHTF kit. First and foremost, we have first aid supplies. These can range from basic bandages and antiseptics to more advanced items such as tourniquets and splints. It's crucial to have supplies that can help you manage a variety of medical situations because when it comes to survival, health is wealth. Next up, we have communication tools. In a crisis, information is power. You'll need a reliable way to stay informed about what's happening around you and to communicate with others if necessary. This can be anything from a hand crank radio to a set of walkie-talkies. Food and water provisions are another non-negotiable part of your SHTF kit. You'll need enough provisions to sustain you and your family for at least 72 hours, but ideally longer. This might include canned goods, freeze-dried meals, and plenty of water or a portable water filter. Last, but certainly not least, protective gear is an essential part of any SHTF kit. This can include items like a multi-tool, a sturdy pair of gloves, a flashlight, and even personal protective equipment like masks or goggles. Remember, the goal of your SHTF kit is to keep you safe and resilient in the face of adversity. In the end, the exact contents of your SHTF kit will depend on your individual needs, your environment, and the specific scenarios you're preparing for. However, by ensuring you have these key items, you'll be well on your way to creating a comprehensive kit that can help you navigate a multitude of SHTF scenarios. A comprehensive SHTF kit is your first line of defense in any emergency situation. Survival skills are not just for the wilderness. They can be the difference between life and death in any SHTF scenario. In a world that's constantly changing, being adaptable is key. This is especially true when it comes to survival skills. Having a diverse set of skills at your disposal can make all the difference when faced with unexpected challenges. Let's start with navigation. In a world where we've grown accustomed to GPS guiding our every move, it's easy to forget the importance of basic orientation skills. But in a SHTF scenario, you might not have the luxury of tech. Learning how to use a compass or read the stars can be invaluable. Next, we have first aid. Accidents can happen at any time and in a crisis, professional medical help might not be immediately available. Knowing how to treat injuries, recognize signs of illness, and even perform CPR can save lives. Self-defense is another crucial skill. In a societal breakdown, your safety could be threatened. 
knowing how to protect yourself and your loved ones is key. This can range from learning martial arts to understanding how to use a firearm responsibly and effectively. Last but not least, basic bushcraft. This includes skills like starting a fire without matches, building a shelter from available materials, or identifying edible plants. These skills might seem archaic in our modern world, but in a survival scenario, they can be lifesavers. It's important to remember that these skills are not just about individual survival. They're about ensuring that you can contribute to the survival of your community. Being able to navigate, provide medical help, defend your group, or start a fire are all skills that can benefit everyone around you. Just like a chameleon, we need to adapt to our surroundings to survive. By arming yourself with a diverse set of survival skills, you're preparing yourself to face a variety of scenarios head-on. Adaptable survival skills are your best weapon in the face of adversity. Survival is not a solo endeavor. Our communities play a vital role in our preparedness strategies. When we think about preparation, it's easy to focus on the individual, what we can do to protect ourselves and our immediate families. But the truth is, none of us exist in isolation. We are part of communities from our neighborhoods to our cities, and these communities can be a crucial resource in times of crisis. In fact, community preparedness can often make the difference between a manageable crisis and a catastrophic one. When we pool our resources, share our knowledge and support each other, we can face even the most daunting challenges with strength and resilience. So how can you foster community preparedness for SHTF scenarios? First, consider forming or joining a community preparedness group. This can be a formal organization or a casual gathering of neighbors. The goal is to bring people together to discuss potential threats, share preparation strategies, and coordinate efforts. Second, encourage open communication. Share your concerns about potential AHTF scenarios and listen to the worries of others. Remember, everyone has unique perspectives and insights that can enhance collective preparation efforts. Third, collaborate on resource accumulation. This could mean pooling funds to purchase communal supplies or simply sharing what you have in times of need. Remember, resources aren't just physical items, they can also be skills or knowledge. Lastly, build a support network. In times of crisis, emotional and psychological support can be just as important as physical resources. Knowing that you have a community that you can lean on can make all the difference when faced with a challenging situation. In the end, community preparedness isn't just about surviving. It's about thriving. It's about turning adversity into an opportunity for collaboration and unity. It's about ensuring that no matter what happens, we have the collective strength to face it head on. Together, we are stronger. Together, we can weather any storm. Survival is as much a mental game as it is a physical one. Picture this. You have all the tools, all the supplies, and all the training to survive any SHTF situation. But when the pressure is high and your heart is pounding, you freeze. Why? Because your mind wasn't prepared. This is why mental preparedness is crucial in survival scenarios. First, let's talk about stress management. Stress is a natural response to danger, but too much of it can hinder our ability to think clearly. It's essential to learn how to control our stress levels and remain calm under pressure. This could be as simple as practicing deep breathing exercises or as complex as learning mindfulness techniques. When we are calm, we are better equipped to make sound decisions. Next, let's tackle decision-making under pressure. In a survival scenario, every second counts. Hesitation could mean the difference between life and death. It's important to train your mind to make quick, effective decisions. This can be achieved by regularly putting yourself in simulated survival scenarios where you're forced to make rapid decisions. Over time, your mind will become more adept at quick thinking. Maintaining a positive mindset is another crucial aspect of mental preparedness. In the face of adversity, it's easy to let despair and fear cloud our judgment. But remember, our mindset shapes our reality. If we believe we can survive, we increase our chances of survival. So, even in the bleakest situations, strive to find a glimmer of hope. Remember why you're fighting to survive and let that fuel your will to live. Lastly, resilience. The ability to adapt and bounce back from adversity is what separates survivors from the rest. Cultivate resilience by embracing challenges and learning from your failures. Remember, every setback is a setup for a comeback. In conclusion, mental preparedness is not a skill to be overlooked. It's a tool to be honed, a weapon to be wielded. It's the invisible shield that can protect us from the unseen dangers of a survival scenario. With mental preparedness, we can face any challenge with confidence and resilience.